Oh, hi there, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Don. If you're new, stay tuned. Today we got the tick. This little beauty is made by Bushy Beaver Slingshots. <laughs> it was designed by a guy named Eric. Um, he designed it, and Alex over at Bushy Beavers made it come to life. There's a couple other dudes out there making them, and they are coming out sweet. I've never shot this. It's tiny. I got it set up for long draw for me, and I'm a little bit scared to tell you the truth. So this here width is 65 millimeters to the best of my knowledge. The fork tips are sitting at about 22-ish. I don't know. I kind of lost my ruler. I don't know what it is. So I have this little mat here that I'm using and well, uh, yeah, it looks like 20 millimeters on the tips. It's tiny. Is it a pickle fork? I don't know. What is this? This is not much of a gap here, guys. I don't know. Never shot a pickle fork um, slingshot before. I have shot a pickle fork. You may have saw that short. I don't know. If not, check it out. But that was like a real fork that you actually eat with and stuff. So I don't know. I have no experience on this, period. But it's been sitting on my shelf for a month or two and I want to shoot it. The one I got is HDPE. Good stuff. I'm gonna just put up a can. We're gonna go outside and we're gonna see if we can hit it. Now, I don't know if I just like to be adventurous, we'll say, um, because you really don't have much to work with here. And I know that if you are a pickle fork shooter and you know how to do it, then you know how to shoot it and I don't. So I haven't learned yet, but I know that there's some sort of tweaking and pinching and popping and flipping and I don't know. I'm, I'm shooting it straight and <laughs> God damn it. If we get a hit on something, we get a hit on something, but that's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna freaking wing this sucker down there and see if we can pop a can. So let's go outside and shoot. All right, we got the can down there. Kind of being a little quiet because my neighbors are watching. And I'm a little shy. Here it is, can down there. If you don't want to see a grown man cry, I suggest you shut this video off now because if I hit my hands, I'm gonna cry. Let's just hope we hit the can and nothing else. <clears throat> Hey, it shoots. That's actually not as uh, scary as I thought, man, to tell you the truth. Um, <laughs> interesting, isn't it? So that's no tweak, no nothing. Five shots in the clear. I'm gonna set up a 40 and see if I can hit it. Okay, there's a 40. 40 millimeters. Ooh, doggy. I'm still a little scared. <laughs> Hey, okay. in the catch box. <laughs> We're on a success success story here so far, guys. Hopefully I didn't just jinx myself. A little high and to the right. Let's see if we can make an adjustment here. Still a wee bit high. Ooh, so close. One more shot, fellas. Oh, baby. Last shot for the win. Okay, we shot the can. We shot the 40. Let's shoot a paper plate. Why not? All right, 10 shots on that paper plate. Don't worry. I'll fast forward.
Well, not the worst grouping I've ever had. I did have one flyer way up there and one complete miss over here, but overall they're in the general area. Just remember, in dedication of the creator of this, or the designer I should say, if you're not having fun, you ain't doing it right. Thanks for watching guys.